All right, let's clear JTH-3. Finally, the uh, boss fight. Oh my god, I tried for 14 hours in a row. Don't stop trying to figure out this fucking strategy. And yeah, Talula is really annoying. Um, anyways, uh, there is a secret ending as well, uh, which is uh, bringing Gardmia in the squad. And... Um, mm, this is the squad I figured it out. I tried with the high cost, the high end as well, uh, with only Myrtle as Vanguard, and uh, you don't have a problem with the DP, so you can use it. Anyways, uh, let me explain. You need uh, Gardamia, first skill, then uh, Myrtle. Nightingale also Soro, there are the only two medics who can um, um, keep your squad alive during the meteorite uh, wave. Then another good medic, I tried with the Hibiscus, but uh, yeah, Mamiya always die for 10 HP, so I change into someone a bit stronger. Um, Ranger Guard with Arts Damage or Physical Damage, uh, really high. And uh, yeah, if you have Thorns, Thorns is the best. Thorn will make you everything easier. Anyway, after this, uh, uh, your best Sniper, your best Caster. I use a J because Midnight and, and the Click doesn't have enough damage uh, for uh, some enemies, so I just use J. Also, you'll need the two fastly deploy operators. If you don't have, you can use uh, Yato, J, Gravel, those three together for the combo. Your best uh, duelist guard and any medic defender. If possible, uh, Seria or Spot. Uh, Seria Nerl or Spot. Because Spot is really good. Also, this stage is not really worth to farm. I prefer 715. No, not 715. I prefer another. St I, normally, I don't. Just don't farm Ecton in this stage. So, if you want, you can just bring the support unit as well to clear it. Anyways, you know, uh, Talula every 20 seconds uh, ignite uh, the last two operators you deployed, right? If you have the fastly deploy, it's okay. If you don't have, you must use J and uh, Yato. But the J consumes DP after 3 seconds, so let me show you how to how you do this. Basically, you just deploy J before... A moment before she ignites. For example, now when the dog comes here in that block, you deploy J, she ignites, you retreat. J didn't consume that 3 diplomat points. This is really good. Now, Medic Defender here, range the guard. Prepare the fossil deployed in the bottom side. This one as well. Okay, you can retreat at the moment she ignited, so you can use the, this cooldown as a reference for when to deploy J to don't consume that extra DP. Every 20 seconds. So, for example, but you deploy. Two, one, one, two second earlier. Assemble so here this one. Let's wait a 16, around now. Okay, ignited, retreat, now you can deploy the DPS because you have enough DP. This one as well. If you don't have DP, you can deploy the sniper a bit later. Now those two here. Retreat immediately. If you're using spot just like me, Use the skill in this moment. This is a really good timing. And if you're using midnight, just midnight, just like me, and not thorns, use the skill when this caster is on this tile. Okay, not yet. This one here. Sixteen now. Ignite or retreat. Or you could deploy them here in the middle to bait the a bit of damage for others to reduce the pressure of the medic. Just like this. Wait, the ignite. Okay, retreat. Around now, 10 enemies. Uh, when Mirror Skill is ready, deploy J here, face on top, because uh, as I said before, I don't have enough DP, uh, DPS to kill. If you have Thorns, you can skip this step. And instead of J, maybe you could pick another Medic, for example. But uh, if you're using my same uh, setup, uh, yeah, you have to do this. Uh, use that gravel and uh, J to bait the ignite. Don't worry about the J because uh, you have spot skill now. Let's wait a bit more. Okay, kill. Now do this, uh, this one, uh, and uh, this one. Ignited. Treat. Skill. Now, when J killed this one on the top side, you can retreat J, to be honest. Let's just wait a bit. Okay, gravel. Talula will ignite. No, no, no. Ignite 
Gravel and J. Just let she ignite, okay. After she ignited immediately, Medic and uh, Duel uh, guard Mia. Oh my god. Uh, you can retreat uh, J. No, a bit. Okay, now. Same for the sniper, let's wait a bit. No more damage, okay. Include this one here. This one here. Oh yes, use the arts damage to kill that one and help to kill Kalula. We have to retreat Amiya later. Why? Because um, we can't keep her here. Since the meteorite wave will kill her. So we retreat, replace with this one when the HP is around there. So we have time for the cooldown to go around 30 seconds. And then we re redeploy her for the second phase of uh, uh, Talula. Same for Myrtle. So don't overkill her. Unless both, uh, unless both, uh, both guard are really good, so this one maybe I don't know. Surtur skill two, for example. I'll just go. Ah shit! I didn't. Ah, I forgot to deploy this one as well, and ignite went on the. Ah. Uh... Okay, be right back. Be right back. This is a small mistake. All right, here we go again. So, this time remember to deploy J as well, not only Gravel. Okay. When the skill finish, I mean skill finish, we do that thing. Let's wait a bit more. Oh, we can retreat Myrtle. Just two to bait. Okay, retreat to the caster. Don't overkill. This amount is enough. So. Ignite. Okay, change Amiya. Let she walk in the middle of this block, then deploy. So later the caster we deploy here will be able to hit. Now basically just try to stall for a bit until Amiya's cooldown is uh, pretty low. Remember to keep one fast redeploy, I will explain later. This one here. Okay, this amount is enough. I guess uh, we will be able to kill her. Yes, maybe we we'll, with the help of the sniper. So, deploy the sniper. Don't deploy the fast redeploy yet because we will kill her. In theory, yes. Alright, so save this one for later. Since Talula, when Talula wakes up, second phase, he will, she will immediately ignite two of your last deployed operators. That's why we need this one. And we will use only, only use those two to tank the fireball. With the Susuro and uh, Spot skill, okay, they can survive, but the guard, we can let the guard tank two hits, then Gravel to help tank two hits, then Jay to help tank two hits, the rest she can, uh, he can tank. So let's wait. Skill, skill. Let the guard tank one. Two. Okay, gravel. So one. Gravel tank two hits. Gravel tank three hits. Now J. Tank one and the two. Remember the deployment order now is really important. Wait, hold on, Susuro didn't heal. Damn, this always happens. Oh my god. Oh, Alright, be right back. Alright, let's go again. So, this time activate in advance. This one as well. One, two hits, then gravel to tank. Gravel tank one, two. J one two okay in fact now he's uh, totally fine no she healed the wrong person uh, no spot 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 okay no okay he's fine yes so after the fireball wave immediately as I said before, 
Talora will ignite the last two deployed, right? So, Myrtle, then guard Mia, and the Yato we saved before. So, ignite on Amiya and Yato. Now, prepare the caster here for some top. You remember that the thing we did with the Melantha, so now the caster will be able to hit. Prepare the fast rate. No, fast rate play later when he's uh, around 17. Okay, around now. This one and this one to bait the ignite. Okay, ignite the bait it. When the dog dies, you can retreat to the spot as well. Go. With the skill. Neutral skill as well. Bait the stun, uh, ignite again. Click skill. Okay, ignited. Now Jay here face on top to destroy this one. Help destroy this one later. And you can keep him here. Because we will use him and the gravel as bait again. Gravel here, face down. Okay, after the ignite, you can retreat. Retreat the gravel as well. We need to destroy this one faster and help to kill the Luna. So the core is to destroy those which is dangerous for you. So those two are not dangerous because no one are in the attack range. So we can ignore. But uh, about those, yes. Once those two are exploded, you can deploy the sniper here. Based on the left, because this one will spawn, this one will spawn, we must destroy this one, this one, and this one. Maybe this one as well, because we must deploy spot here to charge the skill. Now just wait a bit. Okay, now to bait the ignite. Amiya skill as well. Night. Okay, retreat. After ignite, deploy this one here. Uh, maybe too early. Can wait a bit. Last activation from Myrtle. Okay, yes, now this one here. Face down. Click. No, 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 don't use click skill, retreat click, retreat click. Now, we must stall Talula for a bit until we destroy this one, this one, this one, and this one. If we keep those alive, okay, if you have a lot of DPS because you have Thorns, etc, etc. If you manage to kill them before the second wave of um, Crystal spawns, then it's okay. Else you must destroy them. Because if they explode later, during the meteorite wave, this Medic is dangerous by the Ignite. She will heal herself and not uh, and not midnight anymore. So remember to destroy those first uh, and then retreat uh, and then kill Talula. This one here, face on this one. So speed one. Okay, she ignited, but let's wait to destroy those. Prepare the spot with the skill. You can retreat this one, retreat this one as well. Just hope. Cruz can kill it in time. You can retreat uh, Myrtle. Come on, Cruz, you can do it. How uh, many? Three seconds. Okay, nice, really nice. Retreat to Cruz now. And just to kill Talula. Okay, alright, a bit more damage. Come on, Amiya. We did it. Yes, we did it. Nice. You can retreat Amiya now. And just repeat the same thing. This time Susurro heal the correct one, please. Create the skill. Again. Midnight to tank two hits. One. Two. Use the gravel. Okay. Gravel tank two hits. Gravel to tank three hits. And J to tank two hits for him. And in theory is fine. If you want, you can use this one on the bottom side as well to save uh, spot a bit. That should be the last one. And finally, here we go. Now just deploy your operators here to help uh, clear those enemies. Melanza here. 
There are for a, there are a lot of enemies, so be careful now. Of course, if you have thorns, then it's not a problem. It's not a really big problem if you have thorns. Jay here, face down. If it's possible, deploy Myrtle here to get some DP. Okay, get DP. Millionate the skill. This one's a skill. This one's a skill. You can see there are a lot of enemies. No, 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 no. That one is... Uh... Alright, let's uh, remove Melantha. To use the double block to block that one. Okay, nice. We block it. Last enemy. And we did it. Oh my god. This is one of my favorite but not favorite stage. It's longer to do if you don't have a lot of DPS. If you fail one small thing, so if you forget to deploy the fast redeploy. You have to restart, and yeah, is uh, really. But uh, I really like this stage. Why? <laughs> because it gives you that feeling that you really, you are really fighting a boss. That uh, hard. Uh, I don't know how to explain. Anyway, so we did it <laughs> with the secret ending as well. Now I will make another strategy. If you want, uh, I say. Let me know in the comment if you want. I can show you, for example, this one with the higher cost how to do like how to do with the thorns so without the j etc but anyways we did it guys talula is defeated and see you in the next one bye bye